Hi, Horror Movie fans. This is Jamie back again for the House of Horror. I want to start by saying I'm sorry that I wasn't around much last month. I want to thank Justin for picking up my slack. I was incredibly busy and I couldn't get online. So thank you, Justin. But I am back today with a review, and it is for the film Not Watch. Not Watch was released in 2004, and instead of butchering the name of the, of the director and the cast, I'm just going to include all that information in the description bar below. Forgive me. I just really don't want to butcher their names. Uh, to start, this movie is incredibly difficult. I've tried several times to review it. I'm going to do the best that I can, but it's it's a complex kind of story, so I'm going to do the best that I can to review it. However, if you don't want to know anything about the film, as I always warn, um, I would suggest that you watch it. I do suggest you watch it. I really enjoy this movie, and you can come back at a later time and see... If I do a decent job reviewing it, I'm kind of afraid I'm not going to be able to because, as I said, there's a lot going on in this film. So, without further ado, and I'm sorry you can hear my very loud family, I'm going to go into my review for Not Watch. Not Watch begins actually introducing you to the light and the dark. Um, there are a group of people called Others. There are a group of others who are good, and there are a group of others who are evil. They're in a constant battle for the light and for the dark, and they come across a truce with one another. The proposed prophecy is that one day a special person, a promised one, will come and when the person does they will choose light or dark and it will sway the balance in one form or another. When the movie begins you're introduced to the primary protagonist Anton. He is a man who has come to this woman, a kind of witch doctor, because he discovers that his wife is having an affair. He wants his wife back but he, lear he learns from the witch doctor that his wife is actually pregnant and if he wants to get her back and win her back, that her pregnancy has to be terminated. He agrees to take the death upon himself of the child. The woman begins casting the spell, but she's stopped by a group of others who happen to be the Not Watch, who patrol against evil and dark magic. As she's stopped, Antoine ends up going into the gloom, which is where the people from the Not Watch can venture into, or others, I should say, can venture into. And it's then that they discover he is actually one of them. Leaving his life behind, he becomes a member of the Not Watch and patrols and polices the lines between good and evil. As the story progresses, he's looking for a young boy. This young boy is hearing the call. The call is something that a vampire puts out. It's being put out by someone that's on the darker side of the others. He's not really sure who it is. He's trying to track this person down. But along his journey, he comes across a young lady on a train. And when he looks at her, he sees a vortex over her head. It's unlike anything he's ever seen before. Um, and it's soon that he discovers that she is the prophesized one. And if they cannot destroy her, then they have to find the person who's responsible for her curse in order to avert a tragedy of massive, massive proportions. Um, as the movie progresses, you learn who the promised one is, the prophesied one. It's not exactly one that you would expect. And the events of the movie lead to the second movie, which I have here, which is Day Watch. And then there's a third movie that's contracted, but it has not been filmed. And that is so horrible a terrible synopsis of this film, but it is that. It is light and dark, good and evil. You have vampires, you have shapeshifters, you have all sorts of different people in this group. You have people who can see the future. That's what Anton can do, is actually kind of see into the future um, and seek out those who are in danger from the, the dark side, from, from the others who are evil. Um, it's just a very kind of it's not overly complex when you watch the film, but it's very difficult to dissect into a review. So now the things that I, I will say that I enjoy about Not Watch, why I enjoyed it so much. I like the premise. I like the concept. I thought that it was very unique. The director who you would know from the film, um, I believe it's uh, Wanted with Angelina Jolie and uh, James McAvoy. Um, and, I, and I'm going to have to look that up because now I'm sitting here thinking, I hope I got that right. But anyway, um, he, he directed that film, and it has the same shots. Very sped up, very slowed down, glass shattering, uh, beautiful imagery, stunning effects, beautiful music. It's kind of a, I, I want to say some movies are filmed almost with a music video kind of feel, and I definitely feel that this has that. Um, to complement it, you have very stellar acting from the cast. They do a phenomenal job, and they repeat in the performances of one and two. Sorry, I've got them backwards. 
um, they do return for the second uh, installments of it. And it does progress. It's a progression as the movies go forward. And, and I like that as well. I like films that kind of leave off and then pick up where they, you know, at the start where they've left off prior, which is kind of a bummer because the third movie has not been done. And I'm really interested to see how that is. I would recommend this to people. It's not your typical horror film. It's just, it's different. It's unique. It's got a nice feel to it. It's very enjoyable. I've watched it six or seven times. I, I really enjoyed every time. And it's also got music by one of my favorite bands, M83, is in it. So definitely, definitely worth a watch if you have an opportunity. The book is also very good. I've read the book. So if you're interested in that, you can pick it up and give it a read and see what you think. So definitely worth watching. Something I highly recommend is Night Watch. As always, I don't know what I'll be back reviewing next week. And I'm sorry this review is kind of bad. I'll actually watch over it and I may try to do the review again, although I've tried to do it several times. I just can't do it justice. But uh, until next week, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for stopping by. I will be about back next week. I'm sorry that I wasn't here before, um, but I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're enjoying the holiday, and until next Tuesday, I will talk to you all soon. Bye.